This is a story called To Tell the Truth. There's a couple of boys, Thomas and James, who are known around school as troublemakers. They go around school bullying the other kids and getting into trouble with the teachers. Danny was a very shy boy and he was very, quite small for his age. <coughs> Thomas and James instantly target him and start bullying him. They take his money off him and, and when he has none they hit him. They tell him that if he tells anyone they will beat him up. One day a couple of other boys see him crying and they ask what was wrong. He told them, I can't tell you, if I tell you I'll get beaten up. One day Thomas and James go around the school stealing from other kids pockets and bags. That day they spotted Danny and forced him to steal for them. When he wasn't looking they planted stuff on him and that they'd stolen. They told him again that if he told on them they would beat him up and that it wouldn't be just the two of them. Danny knew that they meant it and he refused to tell anyone the truth about what was happening to him. His two new friends, Peter and Benny, knew that he was being bullied, but when they told the teacher, he denied it, so there was nothing the teacher could do. When people noticed that their things had been stolen, everyone was told to empty their pockets and bags. When Danny emptied his bag, all the stolen goods were in there. He couldn't say how they got there because he didn't know. This meant that he was in trouble with the school. In the meantime, Thomas and James got away with what they'd done and they continued to bully Danny. It, it wasn't just Danny who was being bullied by these two boys. They were bullying a few other kids too. One day when Danny had been threatened by the boys, he ran away from school and home. He went missing for a couple of days. Everyone went out searching for him along with the police. No one could find him. His parents were sick with worry. They couldn't understand what made him run away. He had no problems at home and hadn't mentioned any problems at school. When Danny was found he refused to go home because he knew that his parents would make him go back to school and he was too scared to go back. Peter and Benny went to, went to talk to a teacher and they told him that they thought Danny was being bullied but they didn't know who was bullying him. Danny went home but he refused to go to school. Thomas and James knew where Danny lived and one day they waited for him around the corner from his house. The boys knew that Danny had some money on him because they saw his mum give him some to go to the shop. They grabbed Danny and took the money off him. Danny had to go home and tell his mum that he'd lost her money. As you can imagine, Danny's mum Helen was really annoyed with him. When Danny went back to school, his mum gave him some dinner money and again Thomas and Jim took it off him. However, Peter and Benny saw what happened. They told Danny that he needed to tell someone but he refused because he was so scared of what would happen to him. He asked them not to say anything to anyone. The boys didn't say anything to the staff but they told their parents. Their parents said that they should tell a member of staff at school so they did. They got Danny in the school office and then they asked him if it was true that he was being bullied. Danny broke down in tears and said yes. The headmaster said to him, Danny, who is it that's been bullying you? It's okay Danny, you can tell us you're not in trouble. These two bigger boys called Thomas and James, sir. They're bullying other kids too, sir, said Danny crying. I might have guessed it was those two troublemakers, said the headmaster. The two boys were brought to his office, but they denied everything. The headmaster went round all the classes and told all of the kids who were being bullied by these boys to stand up. 
At first they were reluctant until he told them that they weren't in any trouble. It turned out that there were quite a few kids being bullied by these boys. The boys were suspended from school for two weeks and they were told that if they bullied anyone again they'd be permanently expelled. A few days after this the boys and two of their mates grabbed Danny and tried to beat him up. But Danny's dad and two older brothers stopped them and told them to leave Danny alone. After this, after that they still didn't stop. Danny was on his way home from school one day and when he saw them he ran. However, the next day they waited for him after school and they beat him up so bad he was rushed to hospital unconscious. Thankfully a few people had witnessed this and tried to stop them. The police got involved and the boys were arrested and given cautions. This still didn't stop them because they got Danny again a few weeks after he was taken to hospital. This time Danny managed to get away but the boys ran after him. They told him that when they saw him again he would be sorry. This time he went to a teacher and told him that he wouldn't get him. And they told him that they, they wouldn't get him again because the police wanted to talk to them about other crimes they'd committed. It turned out they'd mugged an 80 year old lady in the street and had been on a shoplifting spree. They were arrested and sent to separate young offenders institutions for four years apiece. They were told that they, they weren't allowed to have any form of contact with any of their victims when they were released. Danny went on to do really well in school. It was his idea for the school to provide counselling for the students and they did. Danny himself went to Sixth Farm College to get A-levels so he could train as a counsellor. When Thomas and James came out of their Young Offenders Institute, they both completely turned their lives around. Believe it or not, Thomas went to medical school so he could become a doctor and James joined the fire brigade. A few years after coming out of their Young Offenders Institute, Thomas and James bumped into Danny and they could not have apologised any more than they did. They went to a nearby pub for a drink together and after that, believe it or not, they became close friends. The end. Thank you.